I'm joined in studio by Amy Chasink. She has just released her debut EP and she's very excited about it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now I said you're very excited about it because it's a very exciting time. You launched on Monday, didn't you? I launched on Monday at Seiko Bossi Restaurant in Hao Bay and it was absolutely amazing. Like all my dreams came true on that night. So. It was good. So your very first EP, uh, did, did everything pan out as planned? Everything couldn't have gone more according to plan. Really? Like, I just had an amazing team working with me because I only arrived in the country a week before the launch. So, like, I had people organizing for me and all I had to do was tie the strings together when I got home. And the event just went smoothly from when the day began right to the end there's nothing I could change. It I was wasn't perfect. expecting that answer. No, it was great. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where were you uh, a week before the event? I work as a music coordinator on cruise ships, so for a company called P&O Cruises in Australia. So I, I literally do these contracts to be able to pay for these things to make my dreams come true. So yeah, that's where, where were I you was. cruising? We were ported in Brisbane and Sydney, and then we cruise out to the South Pacific Islands, so Vanuatu, Fiji, New Caledonia. Oh my gosh, that's it's incredible. Stunning, like paradise, paradise. I imagine your travels influence your music. They, not really, actually. Okay. <laughs> All of, most of my music are about more personal experiences, like to do with love and everything, but maybe the style of my music, like, um, before I started traveling, the style was a little bit more somber and like slower. And now when you experience more of life, like you realize, no, people don't actually want to listen to that type of music. They want to listen to, you know, more upbeat, vibey music. So I suppose it did. Speaking about that upbeat sound, you were telling me before we started this interview that your friends were really surprised to see you rocking out with a full band. Tell me about that experience. I mean, everyone is used to seeing you with just, you know, your guitar jamming. Well, the, the purpose of this launch was to really show people what I'm actually capable of and most people are used to seeing me singing at restaurants and just me and my guitar and really soft and like this little girl and you know really innocent but for this launch I, I wanted to show something different so I got a full band and I have a rocking lead guitarist who you'll see a bit of later and um, with this band I was really able to show them what my music's actually all about and it's way more along the country rock sides now. So for me to be able to rock out on an electric guitar and acoustic guitar, the people were blown away. Like they just didn't, they didn't expect it coming from me. They thought they were gonna get a show that was, mm. you know, cute and everything. But I'm a woman now and I really rocked it out. It was awesome. Who are your biggest influences? My biggest influences, um, actually probably would have been Taylor Swift when I was younger. I thought you were going to say that. Taylor Swift, very much Taylor Swift, more her, her um, younger stuff, like her first and second album. What do you think of her current drama? Um, I don't actually know. Okay. What, <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what is she doing? <laughs> She's just in a fight with Kim Kardashian and Kanye oh, West. Oh, all of that. All um, of that. Uh, people are going to do what they want to do. Hater's going to hate. <laughs> Hater's going to hate. As Tay Tay would say. Exactly. Um, yeah, like I, I much prefer her older stuff. Um, I prefer music that's like more rock out, like guitars and mm -hmm. stuff. So that's more where my influence comes from. I do also have some other influences like Nora Jones, um, especially in, in, my, in my vocal style, the way that I sing. What's your favorite social media platform? Facebook. Facebook, really? I don't That's know how so to work the others. That's so old school. I know. Girl. I know. I don't know how to use the other stuff, really. Like, I'm a true musician. I just want to play music. Like, I can't do all of this social media stuff. I have to learn. I know it's really important. I have so. this thing where I educate people about Snapchat during our interview, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, awesome. Are you a little bit afraid? You look a little afraid. I've got Snapchat. Do At you? least I have do it like, on my it? phone. Uh, We're going to use no. it now. Okay, okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> okay. You ready? Hi, my name is Amy Chasink. You should definitely follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. <laughs> Do you want to see? Okay. <laughs> 
I, I nearly me. thought that's how my voice sounded because my voice is quite high pitched. So <laughs> I got to find out. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let everyone know how they can follow you on social media, get your EP, and maybe see you at a live show. Okay, now. Yeah. All right. So um, you can find me on on by my website, which is www.amychasink.com, which should be appearing on your screen very shortly. And on Facebook as well, just Amy Chasink Music, and Instagram, Amy Chasink, Snapchat, Amy Chasink. Just my name. <laughs> my EP is also available online um, via iTunes, as well as on SoundCloud, all which you can find linked through my website.